uh, eBay was listening into our episode of the Brick Separators because uh, their their banner here has all these sports cards, well, basketball cards. I wonder, uh, I wonder if they were listening into our show. The uh, the next banner. Oh, let me find my mouse. Hold on. Uh, it's kind of funny. <laughs> but this is what makes me think they were listening in. Like, finish the collection you started in the '80s. And then there's like these garbage pail kids. I totally forgot about the garbage pail kids. I, I I thought they were hilarious back as a kid. I never collected them, but my friend down the road did, and I would love watch looking through them. I always thought they were too vulgar. My parents would never let me get it, even though they were never like that. Ugh. I was like a, a conser conservative kid, but I never grew up conservative. So it was kind of funny. Um, yeah. That's funny. Uh, anyways, these are dry. I came down last night and uh, turned the fan down because I didn't need to have it on speed. Um, hurricane. Um, light breeze is probably good enough for the rest of the night. So I'm going to pick these up. Um, I had started the, uh, what was it? The War Machine Mech yesterday. And I got through bag one. I just got to put the small bag away. And so we'll work on uh, finishing up those bags. And then potentially putting those away. Oh, we've got to pick another another bin to wash, too. Uh, which one? Which one? Let's do this one. That'll be, like, easy to catalog and put away. All right. Been working on that... Uh, um, or machine mech and I'm down to the last last bag this is the last small bag so once I put these away I can actually list it the only thing I have left is uh, dealing with these two minifigures so these are actually priced pretty well on Bricklink so I'm gonna put them together and look them up on sorry they are the uh, the, the superheroes not the Outriders the Outriders are just uh, parted out but this is War Machine with the uh, with the white suit, and then Ant Man with the white suit. And they're actually like seven to nine dollars each on Bricklink, brand new. So, wonder if eBay will have them higher. But I don't think it makes sense to part them out if at that price. Might be uh, worth something there. This morning I took the one by plates and washed them up, and at lunch went up and. Rinsed them off, and here they are drying. So I'll pick these up tomorrow. You can see all the, you can see the dark spot from all the water there. Um, so these, uh, I'll have to, with the big plates, I was able to like turn them all over so that the bottoms were facing down. These all have to come come by every few hours and just shake them up so that they, uh, so that they dry. If they take an extra extra day to dry, so be it. But I'm not flipping them all over, so um, should be able to get this listed within the next 10-15 minutes. Let's see what they see what I got. Oh, I haven't done the pricing yet. Ooh, the, but this is how much: 1,089 parts, 116 lots. I don't know what the price is. I'll have to show that to you later. All right, I got all the prices in there. So, $136.59, that's not including the two um, Avengers uh, minifigures. Got those here, and uh, if I sold them on eBay at the prices I want, uh, extra $57. So, uh, $57 plus $136, what's that, $195? I paid $105 for it, so not quite 2.0. Um, I, I'm not entirely sure I paid the money. I uh, I was looking at my my Amazon order. And it said I paid thirty four ninety nine for it. So uh, I don't know why I bought those at that price. Anyways, they were uh, Amazon Prime Day um, sale thing. So I don't know. I did it quickly for whatever reason. I thought they were more than two two zero. Um, uh, yeah, let's upload that. Upload, upload, upload. Uh, upload. 
paste, verify. Let's run through real quick, looking for stock room items. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Don't see any. I could just do a quick find for that, but whatever. Upload file. That added 37 lots to my inventory. BL Master off. And after that upload, let's take a look at our uh, our, our numbers here. Uh, 6,330 lots. That's uh, a record. And number of items. 124,847 items. That is also a record. We're getting there. We are getting there. All right, after that part out, I gotta do some store maintenance. So I've identified four drawers that require me to do some part outs of those drawers just because they're overflowing and I couldn't put another piece in there. So that's my next task is to part out these drawers into separate one lot, one drawer things so many slopes must go faster drawer number what's that 65 <clears throat> last drawer I'm gonna part out tonight it's actually drawer number four that I did so we got uh, 313 310 and 316 done tonight and then we've uh, used up I think we were where were we when we started probably about here no here 4107 so we've used all these um, yeah we're at uh, what 4120 we'll probably use another five more well maybe not because they've got I got one of these I am all out of these again I've ordered two more packs, so we'll see. I didn't order a $95 expert expert uh, assembly, though. Still haven't gotten a message back from that. Nobody has answered that question. I'm putting together these uh, minifigures, and I'm working on the War Machine one. And I did one with the helmet on, and then I left the helmet in the bags for the other two. That way there I can take photos of this one, and then uh, uh, the other two... You know, we'll make sure <laughs> those come in perfect, perfect condition. So, I think it's a good compromise. Paul Rudd, the actor, plays uh, uh, Ant Man. He's got the most boring minifigure face, and he never ages either. So, like, it's always going to look like this. Comes with the hair as well. Need to take some photos for eBay. You know what that means? That's right. Another photo montage. Last thing I'm gonna do today is gonna work on sorting out one small bag of these. There, once that's done, I'm done for the day. Good morning, it's Friday, July 9th. We'll pull some orders, just got a couple on BrickLink, nothing too major. I also have one on eBay. Oh look, another Captain America sold. Um, so we'll get those done quickly. Oh, now they have golf cards on eBay. Hmm. golf carts. I didn't even know that was a thing to be honest with you. I'm going to be watching this video while I'm pulling my orders. Uh, Brick Arena has a video on whether selling Lego full time in BrickLink was, was worth it. be interesting to see his thoughts on that one. Um, so go check him out. Brick Arena on YouTube. be interesting to see if there's like differences between uh, the UK market and, and the US market. I would think there was just because of the uh, um, how small the market is as well as you know being having to um, ship overseas um, 
there would probably be a, a little bit of a difference there. But I don't know. I don't know what his thoughts are yet. Let's get them watching Brick Arena's uh, video on, on going full time for him. And it's honestly one of the best and most honest looks at going full time. Um, I won't give away like what his thoughts are on it, but um, there are some things he said in there that I can really relate to. And I, I'm writing up a, a comment right now for it, but basically there's there's really four things here that I think I, 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 I totally agree with. Like he came from a job that had a very healthy salary, which I also have a job with a very healthy salary. Can And the thing that I struggle with is can I replace my salary and benefits selling Lego? And right now that would be absolutely not. I would not give up my job to do this full time right now just because of how healthy my salary is, how, how great my benefits are. Um, I mean, it bought this house um, free and clear without a mortgage. So it's, uh, you know, <laughs> I see it as two things, a backup, backup in case I get laid off, which hopefully never happens. And two, what is the main goal is something to do in retirement to, to fulfill me and to keep me going. Uh, the second thing he, he said was, you know, he, uh, he also got laid off and that's why he started going, doing this, uh, full time, but he had to change his mindset from a hobby seller, which is completely different. It's a casual, do it on your own time type of thing into a mindset of selling all the time. It is your job. It's your full-time job. And you need to be thinking about that all of the time. And I've been slowly trying to think about that. I think one of the things that um, working with Pops on, um, on Brick Separator is, is watching his worth work ethic and what he needs to do to be able to bring in those 30 orders a day to be able to bring in the the 20 to 60 orders on ebay every day it's a lot of work and i'm nowhere near that like I, i'll be honest i am my my biggest struggle right now is uploading every day just something every day and you need to do that um another thing that brick arena and brick arena and i have uh similar uh what's to say body types and uh, yeah, minor health, he, said, he mentioned minor health issues of being on his feet all day from going from sitting all day in his job to being on his feet. And oh man, can I relate? You know, like I, I sit for eight hours a day in my job, you know, in front of the computer. So doing this, you know, having this computer as a standing desk here is very, it, I can feel it. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I can feel it. It's good. I'm not going to change it, but I can definitely feel it. Um, and like this morning when I got up, you know, I, f I could feel it in my back. You know, it's just the soreness, right? Anyways, um, but you know, you got to think of that, especially if you're an older, older, uh, store person like I am and Brick Arena is, you know, you're going to feel it a lot more. And then the last one is like, you know, doing videos is just going to, and I, I know his point, right? Like I, I struggle with this too. We're making videos and we're helping the community and it's always all great. But again, at the same time, we're also creating new stores. You know, people are getting inspired to, to do this. They, you know, they're, they're understanding how to do this more. And so people are building these, building new stores, which basically just dilutes the sales for, for everyone. So while I acknowledge that, I also, I also am saying for me, making videos right now is a motivation to actually do the work, right? I am motivated. I have I've committed to doing two vlogs a week, Thursday and Sunday. And so I need content for that vlog. I want at least 20 minutes of content every, every vlog so that you guys have something to watch. And to be able to do that, I need to be able, I need to be working down here consistently doing lots of stuff to be able to show you guys that. So I get the benefit of the motivation of, and the, the commitment to come down here and do the work while also meeting and learning from others. Um, you know, uh, working, collaborating with Pops on uh, Brick Separators has been very, very awesome. And I've learned a lot in the, in the four episodes that we've done and incorporated a bunch of stuff that we've talked about on that show into my store and 
you know, the, the work ethic that I've, I've tried to instill into my store based on, you know, Pops going full time and seeing what it takes there is, has been, has been a lot, you know, uh, a shift in mindset for me. So I thought it was great. Um, I'll leave it to you to go watch his video to see how it's doing for him. But uh, yeah, very good video. Hey, look, Pops gave me uh, feedback for my thousandth order. Amazing Bricklinker, fast payments. Thanks for, you know, I think you're confused. You were the buyer and I was the seller. So thank you for your fast payments. So that Captain America that I sold on eBay, uh, that was the last of the eBay stash that I had. So I'm pulling out two more Captain Americas out of my um, store um, that I parted out. So I'm gonna build two more of these. And I've also gone through my brick link, or I've also increased the price of all these parts as well so that um, if they do sell, okay. Uh, but I'd rather sell them on eBay for the for the higher price. I had three of these built in BrickLink for to sell on BrickLink, and they all sold right before like two days ago. And so I wish I would have grabbed them out as well. But they sold for a steal. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna put these together and relist that uh, Captain America listing. All right, just uh, reached down there to shuffle this up, but these feel really dry to me. So I'm gonna pick these up and get these in a bin and then uh, let's uh, let's pick the next one we're gonna wash I think it's a, between these two I don't know which one I want to do hmm I think this one's fuller so let's let's do the slopes next I think technical will just be tomorrow anyways I right, those are picked up now I'm gonna work on these bigger plates and get those parted out and get ready to lift list and get uploaded got all the big plates um counted and listed and parted out and i'm getting 194 items 71 lots 62 dollars and 39 cents it's like one of the it's what makes used so satisfying is like the my, i spent maybe about an hour and a half listing this stuff maybe I don't know how much time putting sorting it and filling up that bin and washing it, but it was definitely worth sixty-two dollars. <laughs> and that that bin probably weighed maybe a pound and a half. Probably I probably spent maybe ten dollars on it total, and I'm getting six times return on it. So <sighs> definitely use is worth the time, I think. And I added fifty-seven lots to my inventory. All right, there are all the slopes washed and now drying. Just on a tropical storm speed, not hurricane speed yet. I'll do that later after I leave. Uh, I'm gonna work on getting these parted out by size. These are the one by, one by plates. I took a break, this is where I'm at right now. Everything, uh, from one by, two by, three by, four by, six, eight, ten, and twelve, and everything that didn't belong. Almost there. Been listening to uh, Brick Bucks Live. They've had a couple of a uh, couple of guests on that have done uh, retail stores and do Bricklink stores and all that. So it's very interesting to hear about how to do reselling outside of BrickLink um, and what, what's involved. A lot more involved there. BrickLink is a key piece though to any of these retail places, right? BrickLink, eBay. So all of this is like the foundation of being able to sustain your, your retail store at the slow times. So it's uh, it's not one or the other, It's it's all of it. Got some mail in today. I figured to uh, take a break from sorting and let's take a peek at what's up. Oh, we gotta make this fast because my wife just called down and said dinner's done. Let's take a look. Is that it? No. Is that it? Mm, that's it. Alright. Uh, 
just a couple couple minor things for the uh, new figure wall. I just bought a, basically what I needed off my default water list, which is things that I don't have. So uh, this these blue legs are going to go to an old Han Solo from a Millennium Falcon. Uh, more of these helmets, legs, cowls, the black ones, not the dark pearl gray ones. The uh, wind-up thing for the lady robot collectible minifigure. These should be, these look like uh, Senate Commandos torsos. So, this is a small order. Me and Hilo got up and uh, we are on a walk. We're in like a wilderness area. I could actually get here from the trail behind my house, but we actually drove over here. It's over by the dump. <laughs> so if you look this way, there's like a hill. You can't see it through the trees. That's Mount Garbage. But we are doing the big loop around the, all the ponds here. Hopefully you see some wildlife. See? High Acres Nature Area. We're just going to follow the blue trail. It should bring us all the way back around to our car. <clears throat> Right now we gotta get out of the woods, get away from these mosquitoes, but he wants to keep stopping. Let's go. This pond is just infested with lily pads. And I can hear lots of frogs out there. Poor Pepe Le Pew. Didn't make it. Thanks everyone for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe to Ralph's Bricks YouTube channel by clicking our icon here. You can watch our last store vlog video by clicking here. You can watch the latest video that we've produced here. And don't forget, you can find us at ralphsbricks.com 